Hello everyone, so in this video we're going to find this limit. In order to do this limit, we're going to use another limit. It's this one. We take the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x. This is equal to 1. So this is a super useful limit that we'll use to do this problem. Okay, so the idea is that here we have a sine 7x, and we would like to have sine 7x over 7x. Because whenever these match, this limit is equal to 1. So we write down limit again. And so we want this to be sine 7x over 7x. So we just write it down. And on the bottom, we want this to be sine 3x over 3x. So we just write it down. Now, it would be really nice if these were actually equal, right? Because this piece here is going to be 1, and this piece here is also going to be 1. Because whenever these numbers match and this piece is going to 0, the limit is equal to 1. So we have to fix this. So we have to get rid of the 7x. So we'll just put a 7x here. Boom, they go away now. See, so they cancel. Then here you have a 3x, so you have to get rid of that. So you put a 3x here. Boom, they go away. So you see they cancel. And that's it, right? You can do a little bit more work if you want. Like these will cancel. You can pull out the 7 thirds. Once so you get limit, x approaches 0. If you want to show more work, you write it again. 7x over 7x over sine 3x over 3x. So this limit here is 1, this limit here is 1, so you end up with 7 thirds times 1 over 1, so you just get 7 thirds, which is the answer. That's it.